guys, it's Thumbnabo here, and the 0.11 update has been officially submitted for both Apple and Android. So, Tom came over the tweet saying, I thought you might be interested in this pop-up I got here, and it shows a picture of the app upload page, and it says, submission successful, thank you for submitting your app to the iOS App Store. So, basically, the update has been submitted, and it will be released within one week. And that's pretty much what Tom says. He says it takes about a week for the App Store to approve an update, so hopefully nothing goes wrong, and they approve it within the week. Now, he sent this tweet out on the 28th, which was uh, two days ago. So today is Saturday. He submitted it on Thursday. So within one week means we should be getting this update Wednesday or Thursday of this coming week. This is absolutely amazing. And he also said that Build 14 is out for Android. And Build 14 is um, the same version that they sent out over to Apple. And on the change log, there's a ton of bug fixes. And this is basically like the release candidate. Like, granted everything goes well over at Apple, this is the version that they're going to publish for Android. And there were a ton, a ton of bug fixes. Now, I'm just going to read a few of them because they, like... There's so many crash fixes and like item fixes and just general fixes that there, there's just too many to read. So I'm just going to go through a few of them. Um, they fix crash after getting poisoned. Crafting recipes using wood now display the correct type of wood. Magma cubes spawn egg now use the right texture. Uh, naturally spawn lava is affected by gravity. Uh, there were a bunch of uh, other bugs with crashes. Uh, tamed animals no longer teleport to the player while riding inside a boat. They fixed spawning above beds and caves. Um, they fixed cocoa beans not growing. Uh, they fixed a multitasking crash. They fixed a crash when throwing snowballs. Uh, they fixed the bug with poison lasting after lasting after you respawn. Uh, they fixed lava fire uh, being biased towards east and north. So basically, like fire would not spread to the south and to the west. And uh, they fixed a crash when using bone meal multiple times on tall grass. So those were just some of the many bug fixes. There's like 50. So if you guys want to pause the video and read through all those bugs, then I'll be my guest. But I'm going to continue on with the tweaks. Um, there's only a few tweaks, so I'm just going to go through all of them. They remove burning animation from creative mode completely. So like if you fly into like a pit of lava, you're not going to be caught on fire. Uh, they were improved boat boarding, so you can press the interact button as well as the D-pad. The bandit skin is now slim. Uh, grass pixels are now square, and tall grass has a randomized height. Improved some text overflowing on buttons, so that was actually like a bug. Like you'd be in the crafting menu, and you're crafting something, and the text would actually come off of the craft button for some reason. Uh, skeletons now have improved accuracy, much more like the PC version. So skeletons actually predict where you're gonna walk, and then they shoot in that direction, so they're going to be a lot harder to fight. Endermen now teleport away from projectiles, like you can't shoot Endermen anymore. The game attempts to repair corrupted worlds, so you know if you built something and then the game file corrupts, the game will actually attempt to repair what you did. And they also added snowballs to the creative mode inventory. So build 14 has seen probably the most bug fixes since like the second or third beta build, so hopefully it fixed a lot of the major bugs that people are still finding, and hopefully it goes well over at Apple. If it does, again, it should be released within one week, um, and hopefully, uh, you know, everything goes well, because everyone's super excited about the 0.11 update, I am too, so what are your guys' thoughts on this update? Be sure to comment below. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the video, so thank you all for watching this update video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Pocket Edition content. Also, be sure to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, to spread the word about my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.